Hi viewers and aspirants, welcome to the Shankar IAS Academy's YouTube channel. In this video, I am going to clarify a doubt that is daunting every aspirants. See, before telling you what is the doubt, I would like to share with you all a phrase. See, friends and books should be few but good. I hope by this time you would have all guessed what is our today's topic of discussion. As it is about the best recommended books for the UPSC civil services preparation. Remember the classic mistake that every aspirants tend to do during their preparation is spending more time in a particular subject or a particular topic. Say they disregard that they have to cover various subjects. See friends, books are like the training weights of our mind. So if you overburden your mind, your efficiency will naturally be reduced. So the selection of books should be in such a way that it helps you to reduce your burden of preparation and it should reduce the preparation time also. Also remember that the time you invest should help you to cover variety of subjects in our UPSC syllabus. Okay. So first let me tell you the books which are bulky and you can avoid during your tight schedule of preparation. Say books like India's Struggle for Independence written by Bipin Chandra, then India after Gandhi written by Guha, then Indian Economy by Dutt and Sundaram, then book like Social Problems in India written by Ramahuja can all be avoided. Also too much science and technology books and materials can be avoided. See friends, I do not say that these books are not amazing, but they do not focus on competitive exam perspective. Okay? So, if you read all these books, you will become mastery in one subject. But UPSC wants us to become jack of all trades and not master of one trade. So friends, do not let your mastery in one subject prevent you from seeing your name in the final UPSC list PDF. Okay? Now let me move on to the main part of this discussion as it is regarding the best recommended books for the UPSC civil services preparation. See let me list out the books in subject wise. Okay? First for ancient history refer NCRT books of standard 11th and 12th then going for India's ancient past by R.S. Sharma. For art and culture refer Nathan Singhania. Then for medieval India you can go for NCRTs of standard 11th and 12th and then you can go for medieval Indian history by Chandra Satish. Okay? Then for modern India prefer modern spectrum by Rajiv Ahir. For polity, we have two books. One is Indian Polity by Lakshmi Kant, and the other one is Introduction to the Constitution of India by D.D. Basu. For economics, I have three sources. There are two books. One book is written by Sanjeev Verma, and the other one is written by Ramesh Singh. And the third source is the Economic Survey of India. See, then for geography, for basics you cover NCRTs of standard 6 to 10th then go for 11th 10th 12th standard books and then go for certificate of physical and human geography by Go Chen Leong. Okay? Then for environment part one and only book the Shankar IAS environment book is enough. Then for um, science and technology you can go for the basics. Um, standards 6 to 10th NCRT. Then for the current affair part you may ask what should I do? Yes, cover three sources. One is the Hindu then along with it go for IAS Parliament's monthly compilation and then do not forget to watch the Hindu news analysis provided in the channel. Okay? Then let me tell you the books for the exclusive mains topic. Like world history, you can go for class notes. For society, you can go for class notes. For ethics, prefer lexicon. And then for um, international relations, you can go for challenge and strategy, rethinking India's foreign policy. This book is written by Rajiv Sikri. 
then for policies and acts you can just go in with your current affairs preparation see last but not the least let me tell you the list of books for the qualifying paper that is general studies paper to csr paper okay first you can refer megrol publications book then you can go for arihan csat book then for reasoning part analytical reasoning you can go for mk pandey and for verbal and non verbal reasoning you can go for rs agarwal see friends whatever book you read make your own notes and when you combine those notes with the classroom discussion you will definitely achieve your upsc goals so that's all about this discussion friends if you like this video do like share and comment and don't forget to subscribe to the shankar ias academy youtube channel thank you for listening